videos on, the first one will be on naming acids, and the second one will be on uh, writing their formulas. So first off, naming. Let me just write a couple of acids up here. Let's do this one just because it sounds happy. Um, let's go after... Um, That one. Let's do this one, even though it doesn't really exist, but we can still name it. Um, and let's do one more. Okay, so the first thing when you're naming an acid is to figure out is it binary or does it have a polyatomic ion in it? So just count the, the number of elements. So for HI, we have one, two elements, so it is binary. I'll just put a little B for binary. For HNO3, we have three elements, so it's ternary. H3P is two elements, so binary. And then HClO4 is ternary because it, again, has a polyatomic ion. So when you're naming your binary, guys, the first thing you always write down as soon as you're naming a binary is hydro. All of the binaries have the prefix hydro, so I'm going to go ahead and do that for this one over here. Then you write the root word for your anion. I is iodine, so I'm going to put io, iode, basically. Um, and then for P, this is phosphorus, so I'm going to put phosphor. Phosphor. Remember, phosphorus is that weird exception where the root is actually just phosph, but they add on this extra little syllable just for pronunciation reasons. And then the last thing you add is the suffix ick, and then the word acid. So HI is hydroiodic acid, and add our IC and the word acid. And we have hydrophosphoric acid. Again, this doesn't really exist, so, you know, just run with it. All right, moving on to the two ternary. You have to look at, again, this time we do not use the hydro prefix. Um, so just look at your polyatomic ion. NO3, if you look on, I'm going to switch colors, so it's kind of hard to read. If you look on your list, and you should already have this memorized, you know that NO3 is nitrate. And coming over here, ClO4 is perchlorate. Uh, and then you should also remember that whenever you're naming a ternary acid, the 8 is replaced with the uh, suffix ick. So replacing 8 with ick. And then you just write the word acid. No hydro, no nothing else to this one. So this one is just nitric acid. And this one over here is perchloric. And just to do one with the OUS ending, let's say we had H2SO3. This would be, this SO3 would be the sulfite polyatomic ion. Again, we don't use the prefix hydro because this is not a binary acid. And so it is gone and is replaced with OUS. Again, remember sulfur adds that extra syllable on there. So this would be... Sul, instead of sulfous acid, it would be sulfurous acid. Okay, so that's naming. Uh, not a whole lot to it. Then for formula writing, the formulas that we will write, let's do, pick a few more. We'll do chlorous acid. Let's do... Mm, hydrochloric acid. Let's do hydrosulfuric acid. Oh, we're doing a weird thing again. Let me see if I can fix that. Sorry about that. Um, and let's do... Phosphoric acid is a good one. Okay, so first up, 
identify whether it is binary or ternary again. If it has the prefix hydro, then it is binary. If it does not, it is ternary. So hydrosulfuric, binary. Phosphoric is ternary. If it's ternary, you need to look at your root, which in this case is chlor, and then look at your ending, O-U-S. And if you remember your rules, O-U-S was ite, got changed uh, from ite. So chlorite is C-L-O-2 with a negative one charge. And to make the formula balanced out, you just need to add enough of the positively charged hydrogens to balance out this negative. So CLO2 with a negative one charge becomes HClO2 for chloric acid. For hydrochloric acid, the hydro tells you that it is binary. The chloric tells you that you are dealing with the chlorine, or chlorine monatomic ion. Chlorine is in group 17, so it has a negative one charge. So add your hydrogens to balance it out. We only need one, so just HCl. Hydrosulfuric acid. Hydro again means binary. Sulfuric indicates sulfur, and sulfur has a negative two charge because it's in group 16. So add your hydrogens to balance it out. H2S. Last one, phosphoric acid. Uh, no hydro means that it is ternary, so the phosp polyatomic ion uh, tells you it's either PO3 or PO4. Ick tells you that it was 8, so we have phosphate, which is PO4 with a negative 3 charge. Add your hydrogens to balance it out, you get H3PO4. And ladies and gents, that is all there is to it. If you have questions, I will be here tomorrow morning.